Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Now today, we've got a lot of maintenance work to do off the bat. You guys know, last episode, we got the Red Mage Asterisk. So the first thing I want to do is actually change you into a Red Mage. So, and honestly, I think I need a Bishop more than I need whatever that, the Wizard. So I think I'm going to make him a Red Mage just for now. Um, their abilities I still can't really do much with. I think we can we can double check, but I don't think there's much I can do with any of their other stuff here. Um, let's see, anything here? No, doesn't look like it. Here, does not look like it. Okay, so their abilities are cool. Oh yes, for the for you I should change this to spirit magic. There we go. So we can at least do some spirit magic with that. I think everyone else is good. Their equipment's gonna stay the same. Here's where. We actually need to do a lot of maintenance. It's the moon and the chomp craft because it did a lot of both. And also, I probably have a million party chats for a reason you're about to see in a second. So, first, let's go to the moon. We can I can kind of just show you guys what I've done here. Um, I've left it on overnight, putting like one person on each building. So, all of these should really be done because it's been, you know, like 24 hours or whatever. Or not 24, probably like 18 or something like that. So you can see every single one of those was was done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I have to put more people in here. So let's put let's try to get all of them around three hours. Okay, so as long as we can get them all around three hours, I think we're good there. If they're af more than that, I could probably take a few people off just to save some time. That one's 2:30. I can just leave that one. Let's put two in this. Make it an hour 30. This is eight I eight hours. Let's uh, ether is pretty useful, so let's put that a little higher. And yeah, like I said, I probably have a couple too many villagers here, but that is okay. We're just, we just don't have to use all of them, which is fine. Okay, so let's see. If we zoom out... Okay, everything is being worked on, which is cool. Now, here's where the majority of the update needs to happen. I did a lot of work on Chompcraft, so you know... We only got Chompcraft maybe one or two episodes ago, so that was those episodes were recorded about two days ago. Since those two days, I've been just doing Chompcraft. So um, let me show you guys what I've got here. I've done a lot of it, and you could see here, uh, 8.5 million. So I know last time you guys saw this, I was probably making a couple hundred. I'm at 8.5 million, and if we go to the shop, you could see. It's completely maxed out. Every single thing is maxed out. So I spent hours and hours and hours using a certain strategy to try to get maxed out as quick as possible. Got myself mix maxed out. So you guys can see all of my scissors. I bought the um, keep picking the wrong one. The scissors of time and space. The angel stuffing. The glue. The one brush to rule them all. The best snack time and the best exchange rate. Now here's the thing. This is going to get us a lot of peak. I mean, game-changing amount of peak. We probably won't need to grind for as far as money goes. But we can only start exchanging once we get basically to the end of Chapter 3 into Chapter 4. So really, I've made all this money, but I can't really even use it for another large portion of the game. I'm going to go ahead and I have the snack time here. And then I'm ready in 3 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it here so now we have a pending sale um but now real quickly i want to get i want to wait until these buffs are done because i want to just restart the buffs right when i do the snack time and you'll see so i'm spamming my butt i'm spamming my button I'm spamming my button right when that gets done i'm gonna start buying all the upgrades buy all the upgrades okay now when this goes to six from seven we're gonna hit the snack time Bam. So I hit it. You can see it's going to give us the buff right when it hits basically one. So we go. It's going to sell us a full tank. And from this, we get 194,000. Okay. Not very good. Not a very good batch. But because I'm maxed out, we actually get four batches in total. So let's see if we get any more really good batches. So far, my highest batch was a little over a million CP in a single batch. Let's see. Six point, oh, it's going to be around four, 600,000? Okay. 561,000. Now you can see how I made this money so quick. I didn't even have to wait that long for the snack time. And I can make 500,000 and one. And I get four every snack time. Which is absolutely nuts. So let's see. 
Can I get anything crazy this time? Give me a 1 million one? No. It's another gonna be another probably 500,000 one. Not even 400,000. I'm saying that it's like I'm saying that like it's not a lot, but it is a lot. Okay, we get one more here. I think this one's gonna cut it real close. Yeah, I think I should probably hit the snack time a little closer to five here. But we are gonna get another one in. Oh, this one's gonna be terrible. Wait, is this the one mil? That's a Aw, uh, 840, we got baited with that one mil. But, now we have 10 mil CP, so... What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for one more snack time, just to see what we can get. I wanna try to get that one mil on camera, the one mil win. Okay, so another chomp time is on our tail here, so let's wait until this is done. I don't even need a full basket, let's just go ahead and sell this. We have 20 seconds, let's go ahead and just sell that, get rid of that. It's actually not that bad. I probably, if I would have waited until it was full, even that gave me a hundred thousand right there for literally just like two seconds here. All right, come on, we're gonna buy, 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 buy. Okay, now once it hits, okay, so eight, seven, six. Okay, then I drop it. Okay, let's see if we can get that one mil chomp time here. Mm, only a six times probably gonna be four hundred thousand to five hundred thousand. Okay, actually close to 600, that wasn't that bad. But once again, I am looking for that one mil win here. I want that one mil win. Let's see if we're gonna hit it. I said I've only hit it once so far, but I also haven't been playing that much. Another six times here, so gonna be another 500,000. I need to hit a really good plate plus the 11 times. That's how I hit the one mil, and it was only one mil ten thousand, so I barely broke that one mil line. I want to see if I can maybe hit it on camera here. No, that's not gonna be it. Nope, it's another six times. I mean, hey, this is making me a lot of money, but I'm at this point I don't need any more CP. I'm just doing this because I want to hit that big multiplier because that multiplier looks cool. I might even stay here and just keep trying this until I can get that multiplier because I just think it's sick. Let's see. Nope, just another six times. Okay. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready for another um, four tries at the one mil multiplier. Okay, see, even that wasn't bad. 50,000 for just a crap plate. Okay, but let's go ahead and, like I said, I'm spamming my click button. I want to make sure to buy these upgrades as fast as possible here. Okay, once this hits eight, seven, six, give it a second. Okay, drop that right there. It'll give him the boost. And then the cell. Let's see. What do we get? What do we get? A two times. Come on, man. It's not gonna get it. It's just, just a measly 120,000. Alright. It's okay. We got three more tries here. We just gotta wait, you know, like five seconds in between each one. Or I get it's it's ten, but technically that's a double speed, right? Uh six times multiplier. Nope. Only gives us, only gives us 300,000. Alright, come on. Give me... Give me that one mil that I'm chasing. Give me that one mil that I'm chasing. I bet, bet you it's gonna be this one right here. Bang. Only six times, okay. I wonder what I have to get to get that 11. Looks like we got one more try, though. One more try here. I don't know what I did to get that 11 that one time, and I guess we just got 11 that last time, but it didn't hit 840,000. Ooh, is this it? Is this the 1 mil? Dude, another 840. No. Why, dude? I'm so close to the 1 mil. I'm so close. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and leave Chompcraft here. Ended with, um, almost 14 million. Literally, you guys saw me make what uh eight million right there just it my recording says 13 minutes and i've been probably sitting around the first five minutes i got a lot of money very quickly once we get to chapter 13 we're definitely not gonna run out of money but here's the thing i haven't used a single party chat since i started Chompcraft. we're probably gonna go through every single chomp part uh party chat right now let's do it Chompcraft diaries fresh air what is it about this simple repetitive cra craft work that's so addictive? Phew, I'm ready for a break. How about you guys? Guys, I, I said how about... Whew, it's the fumes from the glue. Let me open a window. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna we gotta go through all these because in a groove. We're really in a groove today, huh? I'll say so. I was so focused on my hands, I forgot to talk. The slightest slip up, and you'll disrupt everyone else's rhythm. So much pressure. But that's what makes it so fun. And recovering your rhythm once you've gotten once you've got you've gotten off is a good challenge too. When to slow down, when to pick up the pace. It's not easy, but when you get it just right, a la, uh, or as Magnolia would say, look at Adia, everyone. She's really into it. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Is that it? No more? Okay. Um, how much money do I have? I forgot. I'm not, I'm not rich yet, right? I'm not rich yet, but ooh, now that we have the red mage, we really need to go buy that, um, that red and white magic. So... We're gonna buy arrow here, fire, blizzard. Um, that lets targets recover when defaulting. Ooh, this is good. And then we don't need these just yet. Okay, this is this might be dumb. But these are kind of good. I don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna buy them. Whatever. It's all right. I it's okay for waste my money. Am I healed? I am not. So let's go ahead and go to the inn. It takes up quite a bit of time in the end but here's the thing i could just skip it and not show you guys but i feel like that's a little like um not disingenuous but like it's part of the game right you guys are here to watch the game no so i feel as if not showing you guys that is you know not not part of the game if anything i already cheated you guys out of it because i didn't show you my Can I just get off right here? I think this is where I'm supposed to get off. Okay, let's just go ahead and... Okay, apparently we're hitting the imp's weak point. I don't know how. Apparently that's the case there. Okay, he stole like literally nothing from us. Which is fine. Hopefully... Okay, cool. Okay, I do not, I do not want to fight any more imps there. How can we go? Okay, so we are going in the right direction. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick save a here. Bang, bang. Okay. Let's enter... Whatever this is. Ball Crater. It's a big crater. So, this is where the ball is sleeping? Yes. If my theory is correct, we believe this grooved structure was created by the ball's impact with the ground. How curious. For the longest time, it was covered in a thick miasma that prevented anyone from getting close. But reports from the past month claim that the miasma had begun to dissipate. Reports which I have now confirmed. Why do you suppose the miasma dissipated? Some posit that it is because the ball that sleeps within has grown weak. But I am unconvinced. After all, we have no evidence that it was the ball that emitted the miasma in the first place. Why, none of us has even had occasion to examine the ball with our own eyes. Until now, that is. This is a chance of a lifetime. I will do my duty as a student and a scholar. And I will do mine. And destroy the fiend. Hmm. All right, I'm ready for this too. Let's get going. Let us move. Probably do another single fight in this game. But until then, not so much. But I am um, looking for what it was. Thirteen to seventeen. All of us are thirteen. I do need to keep track of my level. My money is a different story, but my level. Right, so I could, I don't have to fight for money, but I do still have to fight for levels. So I am going to keep taking these fights here and, you know, 
Um, um, the physical attackers, specifically the one with trample to go first. Is there nothing at. There's gotta be something at those two ends, right? We have Ball of Sam. There's gotta be little shiny spots at the ends of these, right? No? A little bit of MP for that, but that's okay. Please tell me there's something shiny at the end of this, at least. No! Wow. Fair enough. A little disappointing, but fair enough. Alright, is there anything at the bottom here? Okay. Oh, there is something shiny at this one, so let's make sure we get that. Okay. I don't want to take those fights just now because um, it's recommended to be 13 through 17. And I am 13, so I feel like taking those extra challenges is maybe not the greatest idea just at the moment. Maybe once I hit more near that 17 cap, that might be a good idea. Also, let me turn on the game volume just a tiny little bit here. Yeah, so once we get closer to 17, we'll probably take... Let's keep moving on here. What's at the end of that one? Okay, but I know at the end of this one, or at this blue one here, I'm heading towards, there's probably going to be a chest. Okay. Let's make sure to get this. Okay, those are actually kind of useful. I'll take that one. That doesn't lead to anywhere. And this should lead to a chest, if I'm not... now. I might need to apply some ethers to those people. A throw bow. Okay, let's see. How many ethers? Oh, we have plenty of ethers. Just apply two ethers just like that. And I might have to redo my auto here. Just to make it a bit more effective against the creatures in the specific um, dungeon here. Okay, but now we have to go all the way back up and go down this other side here. Which way is the way out? Okay, good. I did not pick the way out. Another ether? Okay. We got back one of the four ethers that we used. Fair enough. Good little replenish right there. Okay, there we go. Tiz is now at 14. Is this the way out? No. There's nothing even at the end of that. Okay, well then we keep zigzagging down. Nothing at that end. Let's see, is this the way out? Nope, there's a chest. Blue chest. Probably should, didn't have to run all the way to it. Probably could have saw it earlier, but I was too busy looking at my map here. Okay. Looks like we've got all of our jobs to level 3 and 4. Even the red mage just went to 3. But I guess, you know, it's quick in the beginning, but it's good that we already did that. So, what can you use now as far as. Okay, I guess still the same things. Cure an arrow, right? Okay, fair enough. Let's get down to the next kind of save, and then... Well, we'll use an ether there. I'm not going to use an ether just yet. Let's see, where it is... Let me check out this far end first. That was a good fight, because it was four of them, and we took them down very super easily. This will probably take us that other chest right at the beginning, right? Yep. That's what I thought. Remember, I, this was the peace ring. It was the chest right off of the first, you know, portion. I'm like, but you know what? Blindness might actually be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the anti-blindness on her. Just for the fact that if she does get blinded, it is kind of really bad for me. Alright, let's go down and grab this chest here. Okay, and I'm glad I came all the way to this end, because now that means I'm free to explore the other portion, knowing this end is completely clear. 
Let's see, I did, I forgot to look, oh, okay, here's something there. I was like, I forgot to look down to see if there was something there, but yes, there is, there is, it is what it is, I guess. Items, potions. Let's go ahead and use these potions, because those potions are going to become obsolete in the late game anyway. So, instead of saving them for when they become almost useless, I might as well use them now, right? That's something, is this the summoner guy? Oh, okay. So that is the uh, the guy we get the summons from, but let's go ahead and unsilence Tiz here. Don't want that to be causing us any trouble. Let's grab this chest. 350p. Okay. That is nothing compared to what we will make later with the Chomp Craft, but for now, not that big of a deal. Well, for now, that is a big deal, actually. That'll give me a lot of money, you know, considering what point. Wait a minute. Um, okay, that's the way we should be going, so I'll have to check out these two other branches before going that way. Probably going to get a few more encounters because I did that, but that is okay. Yeah, so we gotta go up a little bit and go back. Okay, so let's go ahead and rest in the cottage here. 100 p is fairly expensive. Oh, but you know what? Just out of one chest, we got like 500 p So we'll just call it, we'll just call that a tax and call it a day. Okay, let's go ahead and save. So I should probably go into this around level 17. But I'm just going to go into it now because I feel like it. And here before us is the center of the crater. But there's nothing there. Hmm. Nothing resembling a ball indeed. This is a mystery, a puzzle, an enigma! I'm starting to think there was never any ball to begin with. R ridiculous! Preposterous! My research! Months and months of research! The ball was here! I know it! I'm sure of it! It was. I'm certain as well. Magnolia? There's miasma in the air. I know it too. Yes, I know. I know the ball that landed here. Huh? Oh, what's that noise? Is it an alarm? No. Excuse me for a moment. Ici 10345. Ouch. Terminé. Ça fait une éternité que nous essayons de vous joindre. Terminé. Attendez, mes nouveaux alliés sont ici avec moi. Parlons les langues. Je veux qu'ils comprennent. Oh, euh, appelez-moi Magnolia. Terminé. Understood, Magnolia. This is Vice President Apple uh, Berry. Apple Berry. I'll get straight to the point. A new threat has emerged. It eluded our perimeter defense, and is heading for your coordinates as we speak. C'est pas vrai! Distance, 26,000 in closing. Impact in T-minus one minute. Magnolia, you know your orders. It's ball busting time. Don't worry, after the pounding we gave it, it should be on its last legs. Roger that, Appleberry. Don't worry, ball buster Magnolia Arch is on the job. So she's a ball buster, huh? Magnolia? What was that all about? That was my commander on the moon with an urgent order. A new ball is headed in our direction as we speak, and it's my job to bust it. A ball? Where? Right above us, and it's closing fast. Stand back, everyone. I've got work to do. Not alone, you don't. Rifa, it's too dangerous for you here. Run! Run? Right! Run! Incoming! It's... it's huge! 
Rouge. Hmm. I'm Magnolia Arch. And it's time to bust some balls. It's hilarious. I love that. Ooh. Nasty little bug, aren't ya? Ew. Okay. Let's go ahead and default. Default. Let's four do four defaults here. Sunny day. Okay, did he just make like a copy of us? Cloudy sky. Blind, that's not cool. Well, I need a Dia to not be blind, so let's go ahead and use some eye drops on her. And then you two can be blind if you want, I don't care about that. Dark. Okay, that's not cool, but pretty protected. Let's go ahead and do hack and slash. Ooh, a shadow caster. Okay, so this is a ball, and it's called the urchin. Let's go ahead and trample. The Dio, we can go out and do the... Let's see, crit rate. Okay, that might be... Let's do that on the ball. And then do the trample, trample, trample. Uh, oh, we, you know, we don't need to even rejuvenate here. Well, so what would be good against this? Holy magic? Um, but I guess we don't have any of that. We don't have the holy right now. Oh, we have the blindness here. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and um, let's do this on every single person, just as um, you know, defensive measure. We do piercing bolt, and then we should do arrow, I guess, on all foes here. Let's see how this first... Ooh, 100? Okay, I don't know how much damage or how much HP this thing has. Okay, we're not doing a crazy amount. Let's give them all but they, it must be really high. It must have high defense, so... But, ooh, that was a lot. I couldn't tell if that was 700 or 70. I wasn't really looking, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Okay, but we're all pretty... Um, buffed up here which is nice okay almost 300 i don't i don't know if i should take out the shadow caster now yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit okay whatever it is a D, uh magnolia is doing all am i gonna get dark every single time oh see i didn't i really needed no one to die there so at least See, now the Holy Knight's gonna go twice. That's default. We're gonna go ahead and Phoenix. And then do the same thing with the Holy Knight. And default, and we should be able to... You get some HP back when you default now, right? So default, default. How come you're not... What's the deal here? What What, what is this? Oh, so if they damn it, okay. Or maybe that doesn't work with damage dispersion? Either way, we need to rejuvenate here real bad. And then, what is Magnolia hitting with? Is it fun? I don't, I don't know what Magnolia is heating. Let's go do heat. Uh, a frost. Tornado and a soil. And see, one of them's gotta work, right? Heat? No, not heat. Frost? Definitely not frost. Wind? Doesn't really matter. Ground? Not really a big deal either. We've only begun to fight. Okay, well, this reju rejuvenation coming out is actually a really good thing. Because um, we were... Most of us were close to dying, actually, so... That's good. Okay. Still... Okay. Go ahead and do some... Ooh, I'm... Ooh, I'm not blind with this person. Um, okay, we can just, let's just do some tramples here. With a Dia, we can use... Ooh, we don't even have anything, so let's go ahead and default. Let's go ahead and use open eyes on a Dia. And default with you also. 
We just gotta get her unblind so she can attack. The tramples are doing a good bit of damage here. Downpour. Okay, that'll that'll hurt, but not as bad as you might think there. Let's do some tramples. Let's do four more tramples. We're gonna do a good bit of damage with Adia here. Let's default and default. There we go. Alright, and then Adia here. Ooh, sunny day. Okay, they're gonna make another copy. And hopefully this ball will die before that copy can actually do anything crazy here. Um, can't really do anything, right? So let's, let's just default and default, I guess. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and use a heal on, mech, on all allies, I guess. Just to get a little bit of HP back up. Um, let's go ahead and use an arrow on all foes, I guess. Okay, why does he do that? Okay, we can default, default. Just keep defaulting here. Okay, um... With the Dio, we can go ahead and use some more tramples. And well, let's go ahead and just use two heals on everyone. Ooh, where'd that last heal go? See, I need that on everyone. And let's do an arrow. Let's do a little bit more. See, I need that not to happen then. Okay. There we go. Cool. Thanks to you. It would have been rough on my own. Oh, oh my! My oh my! My oh my oh my oh my! Was, was that what I thought it was? Yes, it was. It most certainly was. A living, breathing ball! Right in front of my eyes! Wait, this is the discovery of a lifetime! No, of the century! Of the millennium! Don't go that far, bud. Rafa! Don't forget to breathe! That big of a disc. It's just, hey, this monster exists. We're getting no life signs from the ball. Mission complete. Well done, Magnolia. It was nothing compared to the fiend that raised Fog Loon and barely put up a fight. Nevertheless, you performed your duty admirably. And yet, we never know when the enemy will strike again. Stay vigilant, Ball Buster Magnolia Arch. Wait a minute, Magnolia. What's going on? When we first met, I told you that I came to your world from the moon. Specifically, I come from Fort Loon, a base on the moon's surface. Our mission, to intercept and eliminate balls. I served there as a ball buster. A ball... buster? A base? On the moon? I've never heard of such a thing. My people have been fighting the balls since the dawn of history. We've taken it as our duty to protect Luxendark from this otherworldly menace. My comrades and I have undergone a rigorous training program designed to turn us into expert ball exterminators. In other words, you're a ball buster. Um, putting aside for a moment the idea that I'm talking to someone from the moon, you're saying that on the moon the existence of balls is common knowledge? May we. For generations we succeeded in containing the ball menace. Everything changed one year ago. A ball appeared whose power dwarfed anything we'd seen before. We of the Ballbusters led a full-scale attack against the Fiend. But to no avail. That single ball ravaged the moon, laying waste to my home and slaughtering my people. Uh, As Fotloon lay in ruins, the ball hurtled off towards Luxendark. Appleberry and I were the only survivors. It took us a year, but we repaired a lone vessel and I set off in pursuit of the ball. But my navigation system malfunctioned, and before I knew it, I was crashing into the mountains of Eternia. Where we met. Indeed. This miasma in the air? We. Oui. I know it all too well. The ball that slept here is the fiend that destroyed my home. I'm sure of it. Wait a minute. 
You said that the enemy you were searching for was in the Skyhold. Yes, that is where I first detected its presence here on Luxendark. But I sense it, or remnants of it, in this place as well. Why? I cannot say. But it doesn't matter. Not anymore. I must go to the Skyhold, find the Fiend, and avenge my people. This is my mission. Why I came to this world. Even alone, I will do my duty. Magnolia... Forgive me. Magnolia... Forgive you? I... I should have known. Well, not about balls and busters and forts on the moon and all that, but... The tragedy you suffered. Your duty. You've been keeping it all inside and I... I never even noticed. But what's this do-it-alone talk? We may not be ball busters, but we're your friends, aren't we? Friends? Yeah! Who said you had to shoulder the burden all by yourself? We've been on your side since day one! We'd only just met, and still you lent us your strength, and offered to help us save Agnes. What more could we ask for in a friend? Mezami... I... It might not be much on the battlefield, but I'm here for you too. Anything you need, just ask Rifa. Alright. Since we have a new mission, we'll need a new name. Starting now, I declare us Agnes's Ball Busting Avengers! <laughs> Merci, mes amis. Thank you, my friends. And with that, there's no time to lose. We need to track down the Skyhold. Let's head back to our campus and see what we can find out. Come on, everyone! Okay, everybody, so I'm gonna end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.